Yo, what's good, Killer Squad? We're back on NBA Live Mobile, and today we got another episode of Pack Baller, and it's gonna be a big one, a massive one. We're gonna have some crazy amount of leap pulls. You guys seem to really like this series, where it's basically a variety pack opening with the best packs that I could have found for the month. You know, a lot of people like doing variety pack opening, but this is the probably the most expensive one you'll probably see on YouTube. I said probably like eight times. Anyway, guys, let me show you guys what we got. We got these elite point guard packs, shooting guard packs, small forward, power forward, center pack. Yao Ming's in there, so maybe. We'll pull Yao Ming. We got some Team of the Week Elites. We got a Fire and Ice Signature Pack. We got two of those Celebration Packs. We got three 92 overall Legend Packs. Yes, three overall, three 92 overall Legend Packs. We got three Sharpshooter Packs, some Team of the Week Packs, more Team of the Week Elites, some Power Packs. We're gonna save two Power Packs. I was gonna open all of them, but we're gonna keep two of them for, you know, you know how we do here on the channel, Pack in Place. We got some Legend Packs. We got Legend, Legend 86 Plus Packs. We got these Chinese New Year Yao Packs. We got Yao Ming everywhere. So maybe we'll pull some Yao Mings and then we can finish it off with those. So we're gonna start off with the Chinese New Year packs. I mean, actually, we're gonna start off with the Chinese New with the um, Team of the Week packs, and um, hopefully we'll get down. We'll leave one pack of each. You already know we gotta try to get a thumbnail with all these packs. If we can get an elite from these, that'd be great. If not, we'll still at least get. We should probably start from the top, but you know what? At least we'll open his Team of the Week packs. I like that the artwork changes every single week, which is absolutely insane. Can we get an elite though? No, Tobias Harris. Um, I don't remember if I still have Dirk in the lineup. If I have Dirk in the lineup, it's gonna say update team. But if I ever get an update team, you know we're gonna get a fire pull right here. No update team here, not even an elite. So yeah, like I said, you got we gotta take it slow. Let let the pack luck, you know, the bad pack luck go into the bad packs. And then afterwards, you know, we'll open some fire in the last few packs. You already know how we do here. We gotta save the best for last. There's some good packs in here. Like honestly, guys, there is some good packs. I feel like I opened the wrong pack there. But whatever. We'll, we'll open four more team of the week pack. I think we'll jump into the Chinese New Year pack. Obviously, gonna save one of each. And then we're gonna go ahead and open the legend packs, I guess. And then we'll do the elite player packs. I feel like those are the best ones because these are just almost like regular packs, no guarantee elites. But then the other one will be guaranteeing some elites. We also got sharpshooter packs. Curry is probably the best pull, but realistically speaking, we're probably, probably gonna pull like Bill Lambier or something like that. You know, you already know your boy here with his pack luck is not the best all the time. We also got power packs, so we're gonna open the power packs after the after the um, Chinese New Year packs, the only problem with the Chinese New Year packs, we gotta scroll all the way down. And well, if it, if it only would let me click multiple of these, I would be so much happier. But we got the Jubilee Yao pack, so if we can pull a Yao Ming from these, that'd be great. If not, we'll get at least a bunch of collectibles. Maybe I should open these last. You know what? We're gonna open. We're gonna open the Legend packs first. Just because, um, you know, we got some elite legend players out of these packs, so that's actually really good. We have a whole bunch. These are expensive, though. We got a Pau Gasol, 83 overall. I'll take it. If we can pull a full legend from these, that'd be insane. I pulled full legend from the power pack. So power packs are probably where my money's gonna be at. Ooh, 86 mana. Where's the update team? Oh, man. Why do I have a... Why is that an update team? I'm confused. I saw an update team. I got hyped. It's, it's 84 raw. It's still a pretty good pull. I just... I don't know why it was an update team. Ooh, 87. Dominic Wilkins. I will take it. I saw an update team for a second and I got super hyped. I don't really know why I got super hyped. But I don't know why I needed 84. Why is it an update team? It's kind of weird. I already have a pretty solid lineup. We got Ben Wallace, which is pretty trash right there. But we still got a lot of legend players to so open this. I am back streaming, guys. So don't forget to join me live on stream. I will be streaming most of the time. Ooh, Jason Kidd. He looks really dark in that picture. It, may, it might be the shadow. It's probably the shadow there. It, I'm going to say it's the shadow that makes him very dark. This video is going to be pretty long. I'm going to try to go as fast as I can so it doesn't become too long of a video. We got Dominic Wilkins again. See, all these 80 overall pulls are pretty bad in my opinion, but can't really complain. It's still an elite pack. We do have a lot of cards to go through, and I'm hoping that we will pull something good. Steve Nash, 83 overall, already got him. Yesterday's trade deadline was absolutely insane. For the Cavs, at least. The Cavs, just, they completely changed their team. 87 overall Ben Wallace. I will take it. That probably goes for a bit of coin. Nice pull right there. De decent pull. We're trying to finish off um, the two guys that came out. This probably would have been better to open tomorrow, but we got another minor Ginobili. I need a Paul Gasol. That's who I'm trying to get. I got the 89 overall. I think I'm missing the other one. So we'll see what I'm needing. I don't know afterwards what we got in minor Ginobili. Yeah, we're gonna get a lot of those minor Ginobili's. We still got a few more packs to go, and then we'll probably jump into the Chinese New Year. Maybe we'll do power play packs. I don't know. I like those power update team. Probably a small forward. Yeah, Andre Iguodala. I don't know why it's an update team. Like, who am I using right now? It's just it's cheesing me. Like, I'm pretty sure. Hmm. Oh, maybe it's because I'm using Kawhi. Yeah, I'm using the Kawhi. That's an 80 overall base, so that when you get an 80 plus, it's an update team. So it's like a fake, fake update team. 
Just like on Madden when I get like a punter, Steve Nash, and 8-0 rock. Can we get new players though? I want Grant Hill. Oh wait, no, 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 no. Power packs are for later. Power packs are for the bomb plays. We got some 89, 86 plus legend though. So I'm actually not too worried about finishing some players. We got Andre Iguodala. Alright, we still got a few packs left. We still got 88 packs to go. Like, and it's already been like five minutes. We got so many packs to go, boys. This would have been so good on stream. I should have done this on stream. But, oh, Dominic Wilkins again. But I like doing videos on these so I get like little special effects when we're editing the videos. You know how we do here on the channel. Bang, bang. I've also been playing World of Survival recently. So I'm going to actually drop some videos. One video on this channel to link you guys to my other channel. Just so you guys will know. i also been streaming on, most likely on Twitch. I'm going to be streaming Rules of Survival from now on. I've been I've been having a lot of fun with that. Manager Nobly. And we got and Andre Drummond. So I'm hoping that we don't run out of sunlight because uh, it's getting dark outside. It's getting dark and I'm trying to record before it gets dark. So uh, hopefully it won't be too awkward. We got Vince Carter and Ben Wallace. A, a regular Ben Wallace. That's kind of funny. A regular Ben Wallace. All right, let's open the legendary packs. And we're going to go open the Chinese New Year packs. I guess it's probably the best time. We got Jason Kidd again. Nothing huge. At least the Chinese New Year packs will be quick to open this. We're going to save those elite Yao ones. The chance of getting a Yao Ming. Who knows, man? Who knows? You might be able to pull a Yao Ming from that. And um, if we do, you already know he's one of my favorite players right now. All right, Jubilee Yao Ming packs. I don't even know why I put these 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 Chinese New Year packs in here as well. Like, it was really worth it to have a regular Chinese New Year pack. I mean, since we are in the season of Chinese New Year, it makes sense for me to put the Chinese New Year Yao Ming packs in here. We also got a Tracy McGrady in here. Can we get an Elite, though? Come on, EA. Give me, give me an... I haven't pulled, like, a real good Elite. I'm Actually, I lied. I pulled a whole bunch of Elites. I'm just taking it for granted because we opened them in the Legend packs. And Legend packs having Elites, it's like, oh, man, we already had an Elite, but double Elite pulled from those is really cool. All right, we're going to leave probably one more, so we got three more. More of these to go we got a lot of packs boys we gotta strap on in sit down grab some popcorn but take, take you know pause the video if you want go get a glass of water come back you know relax sit down enjoy enjoy the ride because we are here for a while we're like basically halfway through but on the bright side we only have elite packs near the end so that should be a lot faster than these um, jubilee yao packs although i don't pull any i don't think i've pulled any good packs like any any fire pulls from these these Jubilee packs. We're gonna go to the Tracy McGrady packs. Also a really good player. You know, both of them were on the Houston Rockets, so that's actually really nice. Oh, oh, I just, I just hit back. I did not mean to hit back. We got 75 items left. Maybe that's the refresh we needed. All right, let's open this T Mag pack. Ju why is, why is it called Jubilees? I don't understand that though. I really don't like. I get the Chinese New Year, but like, and usually they bring out like different Chinese New Year packs. So I was hoping they would have like different types, not just these, these T Mag packs. So they usually do bring it out, but I don't know, recently, um, I don't know, man. Maybe maybe I'm just thinking Madden Mobile. Madden Mobile is way more fun when it comes to pack opening because there's, like, different packs that come out every single day. Not every day, but, like, every so so on. Like, every, like, few days after the, after the regular packs come out, they usually have, like, different packs with, like, way better odds and way better packs. But more expensive. Obviously, it's always going to be more expensive. But you got, like, a chance of pulling, like, guaranteed elites and stuff like that. And those packs are really sick. Probably my favorite packs. Like, there's one that costs usually, like, um, 100,000 or 200,000 coins. Close to, like, 10,000 cash. But those were really lit. Like, I wish we had packs like that. But anyway, I can't really complain. I'm just opening. There we go. Steve France is our first elite. I will take it. It took us um, a whole bunch of packs to pull one elite player. So, Chai's New Year packs. Probably not the best for us right now. We do have a lot of packs to go. We got 68 more packs to go, and we're still hopping onto these fire, fire pulls, leaving one of each for the end because we like doing a little progression. All right, let's go open this last one here. We're probably going to jump into the other. Yeah, no, we're going to do, um, we'll do the power. No, I don't like doing power packs. We're going to do these elite player packs. Point guard position, always a guaranteed point guard, elite point guard what do we get we got d'angelo russell d'lo nothing huge like i don't expect to pull too much fire from these these cost cash only walt frazier not bad so like this one you might be able to get a curry and 84 curry but even then they're not going for as much coin as before dion waiters who um probably not the best card out there but let's see what we can get here and we got nicholas bethum shooting guard i was hoping for the small four to one but i don't even think we can get program players from these so they might not even be worth it if you can't get program grant hill all right it's not the grant hill we were looking for but i can't really complain bang bang show me uh auto porter jr update team obviously it's gonna be an update team because i have an 80 overall Kawhi Leonard. Kawhi Mia River, Thaddeus Young. Okay, cool. Not bad at all. It's still like an 81 overall. It's like for a thousand cash, I don't think it's worth it. You get an 83 overall. That's decent, but it's definitely not the best. We got the Yao Ming pack. 
So hopefully we'll pull a Yao Ming from the Yao Ming pack. We got a... Alright, so it's... I don't think it's worth it, these packs, per se. Considering the just base elite, just, it's just... Joel Embiid is not bad, though. So let's see what we can open now. Let's open these Team of the Year... Uh, team of the Year. Whoa! I don't think they have Team of the Year here in NBA Live Mobile. But we got a Gerald Green, not bad. That's a good one. He actually got a Team of the Week. I like that. So maybe we'll get a 92 overall from these. I highly doubt we'll get any. 86 Ken Blazemore. I'll take that. 86 overall is always a good pull when it comes to Team of the Week. We're going to open this. And we still have a few other ones underneath. We got Dwayne Wade, who is now back with the Miami. So that was a huge trade. Basically, we just to set him back. They didn't really get anything. It was like a heavy. Another Ken Blazemore. I'll take it. We actually got some other Team of the Week packs underneath here so let's go ahead and open this one and leave one for afterwards i'm probably gonna jump into what else we got we got oh, we'll do the legend auto porter at least we haven't got a dennis schroeder knock on wood because i'm probably gonna get a dennis schroeder afterwards 86 overall legend so um, i think the 89 overalls are the best one you can pull from these let's go 89 vince carter that's a good pull right there. That's what I was talking about. Like 89 overall goes for a ton of coins. So if you pull an 89 overall from these packs, you are golden and 86. Those are probably the worst one you can get. Like getting Andre Iguodala, although we take it for granted, it's an 86 overall. It is probably the West. Bruh, what did I say? The West. The worst pull you can get there. But we got an 87 Andre Iguodala. So that's a little bit better. It's one of the higher end. But 89 are the best ones in the game right now for the legends. I don't think you can pull a full legend. Let's go. We got 89 Paul Gasol. Saul, that's what I'm talking about. Like I said, this guy's got great stats. Like 91 offensive rebound. He sells for a ton of coins. He goes for like a million. So right there, you got the, you got that. That's a good pull right there. Now I'm missing Grant. I think, honestly, there's a bunch of stuff I can get. Steve Nash is okay, to be honest. But I don't think I finished him off yet. So I'm actually gonna put him into the set. We'll see what we need. 87 Jason Kidd. That's also not bad, but it's not amazing. I can't really complain though. Honestly, can't complain too much about that. It, these packs were actually really lit. 86 Manu Ginobili, probably one of the worst pulls. That and Andre Iguodala are probably the two worst pulls. Just because, like, you got them from early on, and then... Okay, we got an 86 Paul Gasol. Now I can probably finish off that set. I think I had the 80 overall as well, so I'm not 100% sure about that. All right, we got one more 86 overall. We got not Andre Iguodala. Not worth it. Now let's jump into these, um... I don't know. Oh, power packs. We'll do the power packs. We, we, we love the power packs. Power packs are my favorite. We're gonna only open, oh, update team. And we got a Brandon Ingram. I'm gonna open nine of them. We're gonna keep, I need to keep five for another variety, uh, not variety pack opening, for a, a pack and play. I already know how we do here. We got an elite though, so that was actually really cool. Getting an elite on these packs are always really good. I wish they had brought these back so that my no money spent account can buy some more of these. Jose Calderon, that was not the best pull right there. An elite is good, or any any program player that are still available. You don't want fire and ice program players. You don't want out of position. Team of the week is good. Like those are good. Those specially specialty ones are really nice to have. But all the other ones, the old promos like Harvest one, those are just basically base gold. Like that one, out of position. Team of the week is good. Specialist is good. But obviously, the best pull to get would be an elite pull. Uh, hopefully, we'll get an elite pull. I don't know if we get an elite pull, but if we get an elite pull, that'd be really good. Again, I'm gonna keep six packs. So that we can open one more afterwards. Like, yeah, Harvest Player, like I said. Harvest Player is probably the absolute worst case scenario stuff that you can pull. Like, those are the ones that you can't use. Like, the first big promo that we had is probably not... It was, it was okay, to be honest. It was just a live event was, like, glitched and everything. You couldn't dunk. Like, it just wouldn't dunk. So, that was my biggest issue with that. Now, like that, Tyreek Evans. Oh, man, we got two. All right. It's okay. We're going to open this last one. I feel like I opened an extra one, but that's okay. We're going to open this last power pack. Can we get last elite though? No last elite. That's kind of cheese. We got six. All right, let's open these Yao Ming packs. Obviously, the Yao Ming packs, it gives you those three fortune collectibles that you might need to make Yao Ming. We got, oh, 88 Kevin Garnett. It does guarantee an elite, I believe, right? So that's not bad. Getting the elite in here are really cool, but... As usual, like, I don't expect to pull fire pulls from these just because, like, Yao Ming would be nice. I Okay, we got Patty. I was going to say, where's my Elite, though? Where is my Elite? They're expensive. They cost, what, 4K each? Kind of expensive to buy these, like, 4K. And we got a Bonzi Well Superstar Token. All right, like, three times the odd to pull a Yao Ming. Ooh, big whoop. Three times zero is still zero. Or three times one percent is still three percent. Like, honestly, like, what, what are the odds of actually pulling these players? Now, we're going to open one of these. 
Elite New Year's players. Um, what's the best one to pull? I think 89 overalls are the best to pull. That's not the best one to pull. We got 92 overall. We gotta do our sharpshooter pack. You already know we gotta do the sharpshooter pack. Sharpshooter packs are absolutely amazing in my opinion. Oh, we got double, triple elite pack. What did we get? And we got Bill Lambier. So triple elite pack. So that's actually really good. But we got a Bill Lambier, which hindsight. Hold on, I gotta take a screenshot because this this is a nice screenshot right here. Bang! Look at that. Thumbnail, boys. All right, cool. Now we're just gonna make sure it doesn't disconnect us. All right, we'll open one more of these sharpshooter packs. Hopefully we get the Curry. If not, CJ McCollum is probably one of the better pulls out there. We got a Kyle Korver is also not bad. Update team, because it's small forward, like I mentioned before. We got, all right, let's open this one right here. New Year's Elite Player Packs right now. We're obviously good. Oh, 88 overall Hassan Whiteside. I'll take that. Now we're going to end it with the three packs that you guys see here. So right now we're just going to go through our set, our progression again. So starting off with these one as well, the Jubilee Packs. We'll do the Team of the Week afterwards. And then now I guess we'll finish off with those Elite Packs. Nothing good from those Jubilee Packs. Yaming Jubilee Pack as well. I think we have another Team of the Week Pack somewhere in there. I could be wrong. Yes, no, I, oh yeah, we do. We got the team of the week pack right here. Just a little recap of all the packs that we're opening. This is going to be a good test because I just got a new laptop as well. So I'll be able to test out the video card to see how good it is. We are going to go open, what do we want to do? Oh, we got a legend pack. We'll do the legend pack. I forgot about all the regular packs that we have. I'll finish the sharpshooter afterwards. We got a Jason Kidd, so that's actually pretty tragic. Let's do these position packs. Position packs are always cool to open, but usually pretty trash tim hardaway very trash like i said i probably wouldn't buy these just because it's only base i haven't seen any promo and i've opened a lot of these packs i don't think you can get any program or promo players from these packs if they were to give you a chance to get a program player or a promo player from these i think these would have been a little better but i don't think right now the odds are really good for you as well we also have a bunch of other packs to open now Let's jump into some of the better packs here. We have a, um, let's do the team of the year. Elites, I hope we get a 92. Jimmy Buckets, I think, oh, there's a Kemba, I believe. We got a Kent Bazemore again. I'll take the 86 overall. That's actually pretty good. All right, we got New Year's, uh, New Year's, Lunar New Year. I was about to say Chinese New Year. Technically, Lunar New Year is the correct term to say for this. We got another Patty Mills. Let's go open this legend. 86 overall, what do I need? I think I need a Grant Hill, but honestly, all of them is really, yeah, we got 86 Grant Hill. That's kind of what I needed. We're gonna open this one power pack. Please be an elite. End it off with a nice fire pull from these power packs. Can we get something good? No elite though, so that's unfortunate. But we're gonna go open this one sharp shooter pack right here. It's gonna be lit. Give me some good update teams. So we got a Kyle Corver. Yeah, I knew it. Kyle Corver is the update team. The elite Yao pack. Please give me something good. Elite Yao, give me a Yao Ming in here. We got Draymond Green, all right, so not the best. I'll take one more screenshot because this looks pretty solid. All right, now this is the best part. Oh, wait, sorry. We got to open. Wow, we almost ran out of space. I had like 500 space available now. Wow, I'm actually taking all the space in. We got Will Barton. All right, let's go open. We'll open 192 overall. You guys will get to see it first. This one, this one, I'll close my eyes. Hopefully, we get a LeBron. I don't think we're going to get a LeBron, but if we get a LaMarcus Aldridge, 92 overall. Okay, not bad. I don't have him. So we're going to go open this signature pack. If we get the Andre Jordan, that'd be great. And we got Paul Millsap, who actually went for a lot more before, but not as much anymore. All right, before last pack, you guys will get the kill it tactic. You already know I love the kill it tactic. All right, three, two, one. Kill it, baby. What do we get? We got 92 Rudy Gobert. That's actually a really, really good quote. I will take that. It's not a LeBron James, but I can't complain. And you obviously know we got to end it off with the dab tactic. I haven't done the dab tactic in a minute, but we're going to do it right now. All right, three, two, one, dab. Yeah, what do we get here? We got back-to-back -back Rudy Gobert. I will take it. And then we got a bunch of power packs. Let's just go check how much Rudy Gobert is going for. I'm pretty sure he's one of the higher expensive, one of the most expensive 92 overalls out there. So there's obviously going to be a center and a small forward I want to check out. Um... There was a LeBron, but I think his price went down. Gobert, Gobert probably went down as price is actually probably really high. It's probably close to five, six mil. Oh, four mil is not bad, actually. That's actually pretty good. I wonder how much LeBron is going for. 
LeBron James is going for a six mil. So obviously LeBron would have been a lot better, but we got another Rudy Gobert. So that's actually really, really good. So I'll take it. All right, that's it for today. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the video. If you did, don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Don't forget to let me know in the comments down below which one of these packs were your favorite packs. I would have to say mine were probably the Legend packs or the 92 overall Legend set, but that one was really expensive to make. If not, the power pack is always really good for me. If you want to see my latest videos, give me the right side of the screen. If you haven't yet, don't forget to hit the subscribe button and make videos on a daily. All right, I'm out. See you guys next time. Kill it. Wow.